everybody, it's Super Mario Sun Force 56 Game here, and today I'll be showing my Nintendo Wii. So first, it's gonna be like the GameCube video. I'm gonna be showing the Mario games and the Sonic. Games. Please know that I don't have Mario Kart Wii and Sonic Colors here. They're in my garage and a Mario Party 8 or 9, I don't remember. They're in my garage, just those three games, and yeah. So let's get this started, shall we? Okay guys, first I'll be showing the Mario games, and the games with Mario and Sonic, both in the same game, I'll show those last. But let's start with New Super Mario Bros. Wii. You guys already knew, I already had this, if you saw my plushie video, my last video, you guys would have known I have this, but yeah. Have the disc in there. It's not like a box where you keep, I got this like this, it had a fold. Look at the beautiful artwork they have on this one. I like the artwork they did. Right there, it tells you how to play the game. And this was a fun New Super Mario Bros. game. It was my favorite New Super Mario Bros. out of all the series. I don't know why, because in World 9, when I finished the whole game, I was like, I wish there was a Mario game with endless levels, and you can build your own level. And my dream came out. Super Mario Maker Wii U and 3DS, guys. And I will be getting Super Mario Maker 3DS on Christmas, so look forward to that unboxing. Next game. My favorite 3D Mario games. Mario Galaxy 1. This game was awesome. My Tio got this. My Tio got this for me on Christmas when I was 8 or 7. And I was like, what is this? A new Mario game? And it was actually good. I didn't even hear about it yet until he got me the game. This was a fun game. You could see the power-ups and interest, the bee mushroom, all those. It was a fun game. I went 100% the whole game. I even did the whole game again with Luigi to unlock that little one level. And I 100% and got all 121 stars in the whole game. It was super fun. I just liked it. Then, I was so sad that I finished it. But, when Nintendo announced the trailer on 2009 or 10, I forgot. They showed us a trailer of a new Mario game. I saw the Nintendo presentation when they announced this and I was like, yes, I'm not sad anymore. Finally, a second part to the game. It was so fun, guys. New power-ups, you can see Yoshi even had his own power-ups. This game was so fun, man. I liked it because the last one I wish there was Yoshi, but in the last one there was a level with a Yoshi head that was made out of wood. And that made me think, oh, how come Yoshi's not in this game then? We had Yoshi. And he has his own power-ups, more galaxies, cooler, cooler graphics. The graphics were better for me. Good game. This was an awesome game, guys. Highlight. <laughs> Please, Nintendo. I want Super Mario Galaxy 3 on the Nintendo Switch. Guys, I'm a big fan of Mario Galaxy. You don't understand. Like, I'm the biggest fan of that game. It's my favorite. And my adventure was over, and I was sad. And I was waiting for Galaxy 3 on the Wii U. Or on the Wii, then on the Wii, I was like, then 2011 came, then on 2011 they showed us the Wii U presentation, the new console, and I was like, oh, the Wii died? That means no Mario Galaxy 3. Then, I was hoping for Mario Galaxy 3 on the Nintendo Switch, uh, I mean on the Nintendo Wii U, and no, uh, the Wii U's dead, guys. But she got me a motor got in interviewed by this guy and he said, Will you making will you be making Super Mario Galaxy 3 on the Wii U? And he said, No, but maybe, but no. We need a console with a lot of power to handle this game. And the Nintendo Switch, please Nintendo if you're watching this. Okay, now let's get to the Sonic games, guys. I know I had a little Mario games, but now Sonic. Now my Sonic games. My only Sonic game that I have right now for the Wii is Sonic Unleashed. But I also have Sonic Colors in the garage, so don't be mad. The only one I had with me right now is Sonic Unleashed. This game was pretty good. Like, when Sega announced it, I was excited. Sonic has a new adventure, and the Werehog levels are terrible. The, the controls, like... Using the Wiimote, it's so hard to control the Werehog, but the Sonic levels, they're great. It was a good game, 100% of it. Fine. Yeah, and I hope the Werehog doesn't come back in Project 2017. I hope, but 
He won. I kind of liked it. It was a great idea, piece. This is what I think, how they could write this game. It was, they were like, what Sonic game should we do next? Then someone said, let's make Sonic Warrior Hawk. So yeah, that's what created this game. Now, let's get to the ones that have both of the characters in the same game. Now let's get to the games where they're both in the same game. Let's have Super Smash Brothers Brawl. Some people are saying this is the worst Super Smash Brothers game out of the franchise and the best is Melee. And yeah, Melee is best. I like it. Melee is like the best one for me. But bro, the graphics were like, it, it was like a fighting game back in the day, you know. They had those graphics, but yeah. I was so excited when they showed us that trailer with Mario. And and then Sonic popped up and I was like, oh my god. I wanted Sonic on in Melee because that was the first Nintendo console he was on. So yeah, he got it, bro. And also, we had Solid Snake from the Metal Gear series and kind of excited. Nah, I never really played his games, but I, I watched gameplays of him. He's pretty good. I was not that excited, but I was excited with Sonic, but... As you guys know, um, this game got delayed two times because the first time when Nintendo asked Sega, do you want Sonic and Brawl? And they said, nope. And then when they were about to release the game, Sega was like, wait, stop. We need Sonic in this game. We're losing money. Then it got delayed again because of them. Then they finally sold it. What? Didn't you know there was a website called Smash something? And it tells you new details of the game every, every day. And yeah, this game was pretty cool. And if you guys are gonna ask, when am I gonna do part two? I'll do it later for this game, but yeah. Now let's get to the next game they were both in. Let's get to the final one, guys. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games for the Nintendo DS. I mean, Nintendo Wii. I have the DS version of this game. And I know, guys, you probably guys heard of so Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games at the uh, Rio for the Nintendo Wii U. That one is also on the 3DS if you want it. But I don't have those copies. Sorry, guys. This is my only Mario and Sonic game I have. Also, I have the DS, DS version of this. I'll show you on my 3DS video. But yeah, I have the DS version of this. So, yeah, this game is fun. I unlocked all the, the tracks and Olympic stuff. And kind of fun with multiplier and stuff. And it was a fun game, guys. You guys should have tried it. Look, there's no close. This game was great when I first got it because I was like, oh my goodness, Mario and Sonic are finally in a game. I think this was the first game they were in both. But yeah, let's get to the console, shall we? Here it is, the Nintendo Wii. The baby sucker, this guy, this this old dude, he died. But he, he has a little brother, which is the Wii U, but he's much older. This dude came out in 2006. I was excited, but kind of sad because the GameCube died. And I was like, like, didn't it feel like the GameCube had a short years for him? He, he lived through 2001 through 2005, so. I think that was a short period of time for the GameCube, but then the Wii released, and I was like, whoa, a new Nintendo console, I have to get this. And I think this was the last Nintendo console they sold for $250, guys. Believe it or not, but I want the Nintendo Switch to be $250. And bundles that come with games should be $300, but I would have picked up one that cost $250, but yeah, I missed those days. This is where you plug the GameCube controls, the memory card, memory card button to connect the Wiimote. And yeah, I kind of missed this sucker. It actually died. Like, my my best Nintendo memories were with this, the Wii. Like, New Super Mario Bros. Wii, I spent a lot of time, like, I was little. And here I am with the growing up with the Wii U, guys. But the Wii U's dying. They're all dying, guys. I'm gonna miss these consoles. Sorry, Wii, you died. Okay, um, now let's get to the controls. I have three remotes. One black one and two white ones. Okay, this one doesn't have this thing because I cut it off. It was annoying sometimes, but not really anymore. 
But yeah, you, this, like you flip them around to play New Super Mario Bros. Wii. They're motion. This was the first Nintendo console that motion controls, which was awesome. Do this, do that. These controls were like Nintendo wanted to go like like a TV remote, so they made these Wii modes that look like TV remotes. And yeah, now let's get to the next. Okay. This is the, called a nunchuck. No, it's not the nunchuck that ninjas use. Like, not like that. This thing, you connect it to a Wiimote right down here, and you can use it part of it. Like in in Mario Galaxy, you had to use this for real. You had to use this in both of them and Mario Sonic at the Olympic Games. And in Smash Bros. Brawl, you could use it, but I didn't like it, so I just used the Wiimote. But yeah, it was a great idea for the nunchuck. Okay, guys. Now, let's get to the uh, parts of it. So, first, we got the motion sensor bar. It was pretty good, guys. But, yeah. It's where the Wiimotes connect with the Wii. So, you can use it. Direct it to TV. This this thing was cool. But, I, I always put it on top of my TV. Okay, next. Part of it is the. It's I don't know what it's called, but some of you might know. It's that thing you connect this into the Wii. The Wii console like this goes in here, and you know where to connect this part. Oh my God! I'm sorry, guys. The camera just failed, but yeah, you connect it like that. Now let's get to the next part of the Wii. This! This connected here. Boom. And you connect these to your TV, so. Yeah. That was the end of this episode. Next time, we'll be visiting the Wii U. I'll actually make two videos about the Wii U. One about the Wii U's death. I'll make a sad video about its death. It's gone! The last Wii U game is going to be The Legends of Zelda Breath of the Wild, which is coming next year. It's coming out for the Wii U and the Nintendo Switch. Like, why, Nintendo, why would you bother bringing it to the Wii U? But I know you still want to save it. So, and Ukulele, if you know that Gecko and that, his friend, like Banjo Kazooie, that game got canceled for the Wii U because the developers of the game canceled it. At the end of the trailer, they said, this game will be for the Nintendo Switch, not for the Wii U. They know that that Nintendo Switch is... They know that that Nintendo Wii U is gonna die. They know that, guys. So that's why. But Wii U, um, and I'll make a video about showing the console and the games for it. And I'll show the Nintendo Switch when I unbox it. Probably get there on the first day, guys. I have $450. I've been saving for this console, but... That's the end of this video. Please subscribe if you're new. And if you like this video, like it. And in the comments below, tell me why you're sad that the Wii died. Tell me. So yeah, see you on the next one. Bye, guys.